Hi viewers, today I am going to show you how to make gajar ka halwa or carrot halwa. So now let's see what are the ingredients required to make this. This is grated carrot, it's around 1 kg 800 gram. Sugar, it's around 550 gram. Uh, the sweetness is all depend on the carrot. If the carrot is less sweeter, you can increase the sugar a little bit. This is heavy cream. It is around 450 ml. This is ghee or clarif clarified butter. This is around 150 gram. This is khoa or solid milk. I already grated it. This is around 350 gram. Cashew or kaju. This is around 50 gram. This is chopped almond around 50 gram. Raisins, golden raisins around 50 gram few pieces of bay leaves and green cardamom. So now I am going to show you how to make it. I have already preheated the oak. So now I will add the clarified butter or the ghee. So the, now the ghee is already heated. I will add the bay leaves and the green cardamom. And we have to wait till you get the nice flavor of the cardamom and it get infused with the ghee. So now the nice smell is coming. So now we'll add the grated carrot. So be careful while adding the grated carrot so that the ghee should not splash on you because it is quite large in the oak. And you have to cook. And you have to cook till the water get reduced you need to make it dry fully and after that we will start to get add the inclusions so you need to make it sure that the all the moisture from the carrot reduced after that we will add all the sugars so it will take quite a time so i have already cooked for a while and the water get reduced now is the time to add the sugar and the inclusions so the sugar goes in, we will put add all the nuts and the resins and now we have to cook again till the sugar get absorbed nicely with the carrot after that we will add the now the sugar get completely absorbed in the carrot it's the time to add the cream now And it will again take a quite time, quite a lot of time, till it's get dry. And finally, we will finish with the dried koa to make it completely dry. So the koa has already been added. Now we have to cook a little more longer to make it completely dry, and then it will be done. So now the carrot halwa is ready to serve. It takes little long time to prepare but it is really tasty. It is one of my favorite dessert. So if you like my video, please subscribe, like and give me feedback. Thank you.